But really what I wanted to talk to you about is some guidance from this small creature. Not just a, an appreciation of this creature, but some guidance. And I found something so incredible, I'm still I'm baffled by it. I found a hadith of our Messenger وسلم, considered sahih. I swear by the one who has my life in his hand. Allah's Messenger could have said anything without swearing, but he swears by Allah first. Because what he's about to say must be really incredible. And he says, The example of the believer is just like the example of the bee. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, SubhanAllah. First Allah told us that he reveals to the bee. Now Rasulullah says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that if you want to be a mu'min, you should be just like the bee. <coughs> what am I going to be like the bee? How am I going to be like the bee? What is the bee going to teach me about my iman? About how to live as a believer? Apparently this is so serious that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam swore by Allah first and then said that. Must be something really serious. So he told us. He told us some things we should pay attention to, and there are many more. But I want you to look, look at what the Rasul says, He says, Akalat tayyiban, it eats well. It eats good and pure. When a bee goes to a bed of flowers, it doesn't take the flower that's immature, it doesn't take the flower that's gone bad, it doesn't even go to a flower that it can smell somebody else has already gone. Some other bee from another hive has already sat on it, it does not go to that flower. It goes to a fresh, clean, pure flower. It only goes to that. The, fr the first aspect of our Iman highlighted here is the risk we pursue, not just the food we eat, but the risk we pursue, the job you're going to go get, the business you're going to go start, you know, the money you're going to make, and the, and the food you're going to eat. Look for the pure thing. Look for the thing that's pure. Look for the best. And you know, the bee doesn't settle for less. It looks, it keeps looking until it finds the very best. So you know what? We're supposed to be high achievers. This is part of the, the attitude of a mu'min. فَلْيُطْقِنُهُ he should, he should perfect it. إِذَا عَمِلَ مِنْكُمْ عَمَلًا You know, every, everyone, every, among, everyone among you, when you do something, you should perfect it. You should do the best. And that's what the bee does. It goes for the best. That's the first thing. Then he says, وَوَضَعَ الطَّيِّبًا It eats well, but it also, the way it sits on the flower, the way it sits down, is really nice. It's good and pure. And you have to study that. What that means, you won't know until you study a bee. When you learn about bees, you find out that they take pollen, which flowers need. They're going to eat from the flower, but they never go to eat from the flower until they will, they will give the flower a lot more than they will take. They will give it life. They will give it pollen. So if you're, and all of us have relationships, just like a bee has a relationship with a flower, every one of us is in relationships. And in every single one of my relationships and every single one of your relationships, you get something and you give something. In your marriage, you give something and you get something. With your parents, you give something and you get something. With your teachers, you give something and you get something. With your employer or your employees, you give something and you get something. There's always a give and take. But the bee gives a lot more than it takes. It gives a lot more than it takes. And what it gives makes the life of the recipient better.